When you were born, you knew no one, not even your parents, and you certainly didn't know any right or wrong ways to interact with them. So you just did what came naturally to you, as we all did, and developed into the fine specimen of a human that no doubt you are today. Schaffer and Emerson were interested in the concept of attachment in infants, and suggested that a human infant's bonding period is much longer than that of animals. They also hypothesized that an infant's attachment with her parent grows stronger over time. And in 1964, they set about an observational study in Glasgow to find out more. The researchers measured indicators of separation anxiety and stranger distress how did the baby respond to being separated from her parent? And how did she react to a newcomer on the scene? Shafra and Emerson discovered that attachment types develop over time and correspond overwhelmingly with age. They proposed four stages of attachment. The first stage, usually lasting up to six weeks after birth, they termed the asocial stage. Newborn babies will typically form attachments with anything that breathes. Newborns don't tend to discriminate between humans and don't yet show a preference for their parents, but already show a preference for humans over non-human stimuli such as dolls. In the period between six weeks and six months, babies become more sociable as they develop through the indiscriminate stage. A three-month-old can tell people apart, and so starts to form stronger attachments with familiar adults. But babies currently in the indiscriminate stage don't show a fear of strangers. Until they enter the phase of specific attachment, which tends to develop at the age of seven months. The key behavior identifying the specific attachment phase is separation anxiety such as crying when their primary attachment figure leaves them. Babies also begin to demonstrate a fear of strangers in this stage. After a few months of favoring one specific attachment, babies start to develop an interest in building further attachments. This multiple attachment phase kicks in from around 10, 11 months old, and is marked by a significantly increased interest being shown towards friends, grandparents, and other familiar adults. So, do all babies go through the same stages of attachment styles as those 60 infants in 1964 Glasgow? Every child is different, and therefore varies from the course in her own way, but by and large, yes. Schaffer and Emerson's results have been replicated over and over again in different countries and amongst different social groups, and have proved to be reliable findings. Whilst individual differences separate us out in one way or another, there is something notably universal when it comes to building social attachments in this social world. Keep an eye out for more interesting developmental psychology videos about attachment, including Mary Ainsworth's strange situation and the shocking case of the feral child genie. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to Psychology Unlocked for more on the fascinating world of psychology. For even more psychology, check out psychologyunlocked.com.